Hi everyone, this is Gopi. Today I'm going to talk about um, uh, three blogs which I created in the past. Um, um, how to create your own SAP Fury chatbot in 10 days and uh, simple wireframe design for SAP Fury UI chat. And then we have a part one and then part two as well. Uh, however, today I'm going to talk about the simple wireframe design for SAP Fury UI chatbot. Um, how to create your own SAP Fiori chatbot in 10 days and uh, simple wireframe design for SAP Fiori UI chat and then we have a part one and then part two as well. Uh, however, today I'm going to talk about the simple wireframe design for SAP Fiori UI chatbot. Um, in a today's world, if you see any UI design you want to do, right? So you need a UX designer to uh, work with a um, business and then you need to show a lot of uh, mock-ups and prototypes and then they come to a conclusion and then say hey, this is what the design is needed but when you come for the chatbot there are two kinds of chatbot one is a dynamic chatbots and the other one is a static chatbots so the static predefined uh, some chatbots you don't require a much knowledge or we don't need uh, more information to provide it so when you create the predefined chatbot that is easier for the customers to navigate through this uh, through the system and then they can easily get that in get that whatever they need so for example um, if you designed a chatbot on your sap fury so let me go to the the first one the initial page when you launch the initial page so you can have it in the bottom as a chatbot icon and then what you can do is you can create SO or something that you can keep it as a window okay and then when you click that you can have a different kind of buttons um, that automatically the chatbot will open up and then ask okay do you want to simulate the sales order or create the sales order or change the sales order or display the sales order or open the sales order report. So when they click the simulate sales order, what would happen is it's automatically the next window pop-ups and it gives us the information says the chatbot automatically simulate the sales order open. Okay. So and then you can see the another next screen as uh, the simulating the sales order. Whatever you see in the SAP, it will come the same standard SAP if you UI screen. But if you see how it has happened, um, it actually, I uh, explained in the another blog. So behind the hood, it actually called the function of the method and it invoked the RFC to get the sim BAPI simulate order function. And then if I go back to next, you can Next thing is you can go to the create sales order and in the create sales order when you click again it will come to the create sales order. The BAPI calls again the in, as invoke the screen and then same thing for change sales order and then the same thing is for the display as well. But you can see the difference when you see the uh, when you click the button for simulate and create it directly calls uh, uh, sales order transaction uh, the code and RFC call but when you do it for a create change and display sorry on that it it will ask please enter the sales order number so if you see here it, you need to enter your relevant sales order number whatever the number it is there you need to enter it for a change or display but when with the sales order is not available in the system then it can display the standard error message whatever it SAP returns to us the same thing goes for display as well and then the the last one is the open the sales order report right so that open the sales order report which gives you need to enter and then whatever you see in VA05 transaction codes the same thing it will display here so um, that's it so if you want you can come to this uh, blog and then you can check how it is a flow as written and I will also explain in the later stage 
how we are going to design each and every step of the process. Um, there is one more block I have written. Um, probably I can show you that. Um, how to create your own SAP Fury chatbot in 10 days. Um, this has not much detail, but it will give you an idea to ground up and create the Fury chatbot. Okay. So if you have any questions, please comment on below. Uh, I can review and then we can work on that. And then I can come back with uh, more videos. Thank you.